Hi there, this is Jack Strongithan from Autodesk. I'm going to cover a tip and trick for exporting your corridor models through to construction. So when it comes to exporting our corridor models to construction, we have a couple of methods we'd normally take. Going to a, a report based method, going to an Excel or a CSV type output is traditionally there and it's supported within the reports in Civil 3D. Also a legacy format is GenIO, it's what contractors are used to and there's a number of issues around using that format, especially with Civil 3D. One is the four character limit of any string names, so it's not a like for like uh, translation from your civil model through to this format. Also the output for GenIO is not necessarily clean consistent strings as it's broken down by region. Also there's no way for us to export our surfaces through to this format. One thing we have added in 2016 with the GenIO tool is to be able to export to GenIO formatting rather than the Helene and Verline export which is generally to match 100% geometry through to Bentley MX. The other method that's been used within surveying equipment and alike is Land XML. It's a format that we've handed through to the OGC, but again is limited to its output for geometry, surfaces and pipes. Also that the surface boundary isn't necessarily supported and there's no guarantee that your surface definition will be retained when it goes through to the other application. So for a fully working workflow, this is a method that we can look to try. Export our geometry to Land XML as alignments and profiles work natively with all survey equipment and of course we can retain the names that are used within your design. I'm going to look at this bonus tool that we've added in the country kit called Export for Construction which will create clean join strings. And also if we export our surfaces to plane triangles that that mesh natively will work inside most survey equipment. You do not need to construct an object as such. And for all these in mind, copy and paste the output into a clean DWG and then you don't have any leftovers from your work in progress Civil 3D model file format. So let's take a look at this in practice. So we've got a design here with a couple of mini roundabouts. And we're going to go to the UK and Ireland report section and export for construction. So here we can pick individual corridors or every single corridor in the model. Then choosing the code names for your points, those are the strings of what you want to export. You can place to an AutoCAD layer and join, but also save this in a clean drawing right from this publishing exercise. So here we're choosing the open the drawing so we can open the results straight away. It takes a couple of moments to run and we'll get the output delivered in a clean AutoCAD template drawing. So as we can see here now we've got just line work only, 3D polyline strings. Again it's in a DWG format, you could make it to DXF as well. And this output will open straight into equipment vendors such as Topcon and Leica and Trimble by just importing this file format. Thank you very much.